But the Teachers Assistance Union feels any cup cuts are unacceptable. And Matthew Simon has learned UW's Madison's TAA now saying they may consider a strike, Matthew. Michelle Eric, during an emergency meeting of UW's Teachers Assistant Association last week, mobilizing against the governor's proposed cuts, we are told some attending started pushing for a strike. And today, official union reps said that possibility is not off the table. The Teaching Assistant Association is ready to fight tooth and nail against these cuts. While representatives of the UW-Madison Teaching Assistance Association are as upset as many here. I would almost rather see a nuclear option here than increasing tuition. To hear Chancellor Rebecca Blank talking about budget cut decisions being considered. If I'm going to talk to you about budget cuts and layoffs, I'm going to look you in the face. The TAA's treasurer says their union's anger may go a step further and turn into action that would have them walking off the job. It's true that our policy right now, no options are off the table. While Travis MacArthur emphasizes that would take a vote of members. It's technically illegal, but the TAA has um, engaged in strike activity in the past. He brings up the TA strike of 2003 as a reference point. To ensure that our, our pay didn't wasn't eaten up by inflation at that time. While MacArthur would not provide details about what a strike would accomplish in this case. I'm going to say no comment because we haven't discussed this in detail. During last week's TAA meeting, members were shown a list demanding no public authority cuts or layoffs. No, I will say that you know, we couldn't operate our educational program without the teaching assistance. The chancellor saying if a TAA strike happened, it would have a significant impact. That seriously degrades the quality of our education. Well, university officials say they would find a way to hold classes if a strike were to happen. The TAA co-president tells me no meetings have been scheduled yet to take a vote. It was emphasized to me a majority of members would have to vote in favor of this for it to even happen. All right, keep us posted. Matthew.